Hey everybody, I'm Lauren from tastebetterfromscratch.com and today we are making an awesome charcuterie meat and cheese board. I want you to wow your guests, so I'm gonna show you how to build a beautiful board and all of my favorite ingredients to use. The word charcuterie refers to prepared meats, but these days when people say charcuterie, they're usually referring to a fun meat and cheese snack board. A great charcuterie board has cheese, meat, savory, sweet accompaniments, and crackers. First things first, choose your board based off of your party size. You can use a fancy fun one like these, small or large, you could use more than one if you need to. You could use a big cutting board, you could use a baking sheet, you could even put a piece of butcher paper out on your counter and put everything right on top of it. We're gonna start with our cheeses. I like to choose a variety of hard and soft cheeses and I always choose something really familiar like cheddar that makes your guests just comfortable diving right in. We've also got manchego, which is one of my favorite hard cheeses to use. You could also use gouda or gruyere. Some of my favorite soft cheeses are brie and we're using a goat cheese. This one's flavored with blueberry and some cream cheese that we'll top with jalapeno jelly. I like to add my cheeses to the board first because they kind of act like an anchor, making it easy to figure out where to put everything else. And I like to work in odd numbers, so depending on your party size, either three, five, or seven types of cheese. Next, let's add the meat to our board. Today I've chosen prosciutto, black pepper salami, and sopracetta salami. You could use an inexpensive deli meat like ham, pepperoni, or summer sausage. Those would all be great options. These are just my favorites. There are a few fun ways to fold meat for your charcuterie board. You could fold the salami in half and stack them together. Fan them out kind of like you would holding a deck of cards in your hand. We want to keep it light and airy so that these are easy to pick up and grab. Another fun and easy way, especially if the salami is really big, is to fold it in half and then again to make kind of like a little flower and to stack all of these together like so. I like to think about what pairs well when I place the meat on the board. So place the salami near the manchego or the cheddar. I like the prosciutto near the brie or the goat cheese. The prosciutto I love to kind of serve in a light, airy ribbon so that it's easy for people to pick up and eat. Lastly, we are going to fill in the gaps with some savory and some sweet. For savory, we have nuts, we have briny things like olives, you could use cocktail onions, cornichons or dill pickles. We have this whole ground mustard. And for sweet, we have fresh fruit. I love fig butter, you could use jams or preserves. Think colorful and think seasonal. Orange marmalade, blackberry jam, red apples, green pears, red or green grapes. I always like to add something extra sweet like chocolate or even chocolate covered nuts. This is the fun part. We're gonna start adding all of these fun elements to our board. Again, keeping in mind what might pair well together. And don't put anything that might roll off the board on the edges, like your nuts. The last element of our board is fun crackers or sliced baguette, toasted breads. I like to use a variety of shapes and sizes and flavors. We are going to fill in all the extra space with crackers. Charcuterie boards are so fun to serve for the holidays as an appetizer, but I serve it year round as a fun and easy lunch for friends and family.
I had so much fun building this beautiful board. I'm gonna leave all the details in the video description, including what I buy and where I buy it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Be sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss any future recipes that taste better from scratch. We'll see you soon.